Are you ready to party? <laughs> no. Gandalf? Gandalf is coming to town? Kathy's with her parents. I have nothing to do, so tomorrow we are partying with Gandalf, dude! <laughs> dude, we are so gonna party! Yeah. Wow, okay. Dude alert. <laughs> and who is this guy? Mike Gandalf Ganderson. Only, like, the funnest guy in the world. I'm gonna call and get off work tomorrow. Oh, I'm gonna call after you. <laughs> this is gonna be so cool, dude. We never party yeah. anymore. <laughs> All right, were you guys smoking something in the back of our van? Really? And what do you mean we never have fun anymore? You have fun with me. Remember the time we saw those strippers, then you paid me 50 bucks to eat that book? <laughs> Joey, you are gonna love this guy. Gandalf is like the party wizard. Well, wh why do you call him Gandalf? Gandalf the wizard. <laughs> Hello, didn't you read Lord of the Rings in high school? <laughs> no, I had sex in high school. Take care of everything. Thanks a lot, co-host. <laughs> Wait a minute. Take care of everything. There's, there's plenty of things for you to do. Uh-huh, like what? Cops. <laughs> Cups? You're giving me cups? And ice? <laughs> cups and ice? Oh, I get to be in charge of cups and ice? All right. <laughs> Fine, okay, I will be in charge of cups and ice. <laughs> Wait a minute, I can get ice at the restaurant. I got it, fine! <laughs> hey, check it out. Um, cup hat, cup banner, cup chandelier, and the thing that started it all, the cup. <laughs> Great job with the cups, Phoebes. <laughs> Why don't you just go out with her? <laughs> and did you notice the ice? Look, we have it all. We have crushed, cubed, and dry. Watch. Ah. Oh. <laughs> Mystical. Oh. <laughs> I don't want No one's eating my Tuscan finger food because they're all filling up on Phoebe's snow cones. There are snow cones? <laughs> Snow cones. <laughs> you know, go, go. Thank you, right thank there. you. This is what I got going for the party so far, liquor wise. Get a lot of liquor. Great. Great. Okay, now, uh, in terms of the invite list, obviously I got you, me, and Chandler, and I'm going to invite Gunther because, well, we've been talking about this pretty loudly. I'll be there. All right, and, uh, oh, listen, I know it's your party, but I'd really like to limit the number of museum geeks that are going to be there. Yeah, tell you what, let's not invite any of the anthropologists, okay? Just the dinosaur dudes. <laughs> okay, we need a six pack of Zima. Hey, guys, what are you doing? Oh, just planning my bachelor party with my best man. Yeah, well, good luck trying to top the last one. Yeah, see, I don't think it's going to be that difficult, considering this one won't take place in the basement of a pizza hut. <laughs> oh, I'm Ross. I'm Ross. I'm too good for the hut. I'm too good for the hut. Look, I got to go pick up Ben. Uh, everything so far sounds great, Joey. Just remember, keep it on the mellow side, OK? Just a couple of guys hanging out playing poker. No, no strippers or anything, OK? You got it. OK, see you later. Yeah. <laughs> Have fun planning your mellow bachelor party. <laughs> I thought it was going to be strippers there. He didn't say anything about no strippers. <laughs> he just said no strippers. Oh. I chose not to hear that. Hey, listen, man, about the stripper. Yeah? Good call. <laughs> okay. A little announcement, a little announcement. I've decided that my best man is my best friend, Gunther. <laughs> What's my last name? Central Perk. Thanks for not marrying Rachel. Hey, whoa, hey, Gunther, don't, don't forget your shirt. Hey, hey, what are those? That little party favors, check it out. <laughs> wow, yeah. 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 Oh, 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 oh. Aww. Oh. OK, OK, little announcement. Just want everybody to know that the position of my best man is still open. And, uh, you know, so is the position of the bride. Great. Smooth, man. Yeah, you got some chili on your neck. Oh, my gosh. Rachel, honey. My, are you OK? Wait, where's Paolo? Rome. Jerk missed his flight. 
Huh? And then your face exploded? <laughs> no. <sighs> okay. I was at the airport getting into a cab when this woman, this blonde planet with a pocketbook, starts yelling at me. Something about how it was her cab first. And then the next thing I know, she just starts starts pulling me out by my hair. You know, and then I'm blowing my attack whistle thingy, and, and then three more cabs show up. No. As I'm going to get into a cab, she tackles me. And I hit my head on the curb, and I cut my lip on my whistle. Oh, everybody having fun at the party? Are people eating my dip? Joey is having a secret Days of Our Lives party up on the roof, and he sent you guys to the play to get rid of you. What? What? What's, what's going on? Joey is having a secret Days of Our Lives party up on the roof. And, and he didn't want you guys to know about it, but I came over here to tell you. I thought he came to say you were sick. All right, professor or detective? Like, Joey's having a party, and he wasn't going to invite us? Yeah, he does it every year. That's why he's sending you to the play. That's why he sent us to that medieval restaurant and to that button factory and that, that horrible museum tour. No, I arranged that. <laughs> hey, you guys, I'm turning in. Have fun. We know about your party, Joey. What party? The game's over. Take off your robe. It's very, I mean... No! no! she was when she was 29. <laughs> Miss Green would like to establish some ground rules before she comes out. She would appreciate it if you didn't use the words old or downhill or they still look pretty damn good. <laughs> they do. Hey, Joel, come on out. Monica made breakfast. Chocolate chip pancakes. We've got presents. Good ones? <laughs> they all came from the list you handed out to us two weeks ago. Well, can I keep the presents and still be 29? Come on, Rage. Look, turning 30 is not that big a deal. Oh, really? Is that how you felt when you turned 30? Why, God, why? Okay, thanks for coming. I hope you guys had fun. All right, Monica, dear, I'm going to hit the road. Now, I've left my ten verbs on the table. Yes, and you be sure and send me that finished poem. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes. Okay, will do. All right, I'm dear. so glad you came. I, I think I saw Rachel out in the hall. Okay, let me go check. Oh, all right. Your mom wants to say goodbye. Oh, okay. Oh, oh happy mom. birthday, sweetie. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, you drive safe. Okay. Uh, Ross, what are you doing? I'm getting ready for the water skiing. Big hug, big hug, one more, big hug. Come on, big hug. How are you? <laughs> well, uh, Dr. Green, where are you going? To get my coat. <laughs> oh, get all right, all right, I can get my own coat. Oh. Uh, 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 <laughs> sorry, we're on a major flan high. No, you're not supposed to be here. Because this is the staging area. You should, it's all wrong. You shouldn't leave. <laughs> you know, just get out. <laughs> hey! Or perhaps you'd like a creme de menthe. <laughs> Have to be heading toward my chateau. Thank you. Oh, all right. Well, then I guess we're going back into the hallway again. Thanks for coming, Mrs. Green. Take care. <laughs> oh, you kids. <laughs> well, this is the 
best party I've been to in years. <laughs> Thank you. We've decided to have a Halloween party. Oh, oh good. good. Yeah, and everybody has to wear costumes. Oh, oh I do have it. Oh, I do have it. Come on, it'll be fun. Well, uh, I'll be there. I mean, I have to wear a costume to all my classes that day anyway, so... Please tell me you're not going to dress up like a dinosaur. <laughs> not two years in a row. <laughs> I'll come to the party, but I'm not dressing up. You have to. No way. Look, Halloween is so stupid. Dressing up and pretending to be someone you're not. You're an actor. So, Ross, are you going to bring Mona? Yeah, yeah, I think I will. The hot girl from their wedding? Yeah. Well, hey, if she needs any ideas for costumes, she could be a uh, bikini model or a slutty nurse or sexy cheerleader huh? or, ooh, Leatherface from Texas Chainsaw Massacre. No, no, no. <laughs> Slutty Leatherface. Now, wasn't Joey hitting on her at the wedding, too? That's right. He was hitting on her. And I got her. I guess the better man won. <laughs> Please don't take her from me. Hi. Hi. Which one of you lucky boys is Chandler? Uh, that, that, that's me. <laughs> that's me. Joey Triviani. Big fan. <laughs> so is that a bedroom? Yeah, yeah, right over there. All right, whenever you're ready. <laughs> that was weird. Why, why would she go in the bedroom? I'm waiting. So she's a... Yep, that's one naked hooker. So, tonight's the night of the big bachelor party? Yeah. Hey, thanks for giving me that girl's number. No problem. Say, so who's the party for? Uh, my husband. You hired your husband a hooker? She's a stripper. No, she's a hooker. Is, is that what they call strippers sometimes? When they're hookers. Oh, my God, Stu. I, I can't believe you did this. Are you absolutely sure she's a hooker? It's either that or she's just the best, most expensive date I ever had. <laughs> all right, all right. Maybe, maybe you should just ask her to leave. Why me? Hey, it's your bachelor party. Which is why you should do it. I don't want to. You do it. You do it. You do it. All right, rock, paper, scissors, who has to tell the whore to leave? <laughs> what? I missed this. I don't think we've actually done this before. No, 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 no. no I, I miss hanging out with you. Well, we, we still hang out. Yeah, well, not like we used to. Remember, you and me used to be inseparable. You know, now it's like things are different. Well, you know, things are different. I'm, I'm married now. Yeah, sure. And hey, don't get me wrong. I am so happy for you guys. But I just, I miss hanging out, just, just us. You know? Yeah, I miss that, too. Okay. I'll tell you what. For now, we'll make time to hang out with each other. You got it. Come here. <laughs> oh, God. Listen, I am this close to robbing you guys. <laughs> She's a hooker! She's a hooker! She's a... Hi. Uh, we spoke on the phone? I just wanted to let you know I've changed my mind. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna kiss Joey. No, you can't. Friends hooking up is a bad idea. Please, what about you and Chandler? Well, that's different. I was drunk and stupid. Uh, well, hello. <laughs> what about all the guys that you got the phone numbers from? What, why don't you just kiss one of them? I could, I could, but I don't want to. I want to kiss Joey. <sighs> all right. I think it's a big mistake, but it's, it's your decision. I'm gonna do it, and I can't stop you. No. Hey, Rich, have you seen Charlie anywhere? I'm smarter than him. You had it? 
Yeah, well, we called everyone in your phone book and a bunch of people came, but it took us so long to get you here that they, they had to leave. Yeah, we wanted to throw you a big surprise and a great shower and, and now you don't have either. We ruined everything. Ugh. Oh, no, wait a minute, that's not true. No, what you did, that was really sweet. And it kind of works out for the best. <laughs> what, do you, what do you mean? Well, now I get to spend my shower with the only people I really love. I mean, and I get all those presents without having to talk to a bunch of people I don't even like. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so, oh, so, surprise. Monica. And finally, our biggest item of the night, the 22-foot Gentleman's Day Sailor sailboat. The winning bid was a whopping $20,000. I won. <laughs> that was my guess. What? 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 I guessed 20000 <laughs> Joey, it is an auction. You don't guess, you buy. What? <laughs> I don't have 20000 Congratulations on your new boat, Joey Tribbiani. <laughs> You enjoy this. Woo! What were you thinking? I didn't know it was an auction. What? I figured I'd take a guess. Help a charity. Free boat! Why would a charity give away a free boat? I don't know. Charity? Oh. Well, just buy the damn boat. <laughs> Phoebe, don't you think you've had enough to drink? I'm just helping the kids. <laughs> How is you drinking helping the kids? Because the more I drink, the less there is for the kids to drink. <laughs> Mr. Tribbiani, Hi. your generous contribution brings us a big step closer to building the youth center. <laughs> Just out of curiosity, how, how much is that boat worth? I think it was valued at 19000 Yeah, it was pretty close. <laughs> uh, so, bad news. Um, I can't buy the boat. I don't have any money. <laughs> Joey! Joey, good one! Oh. Very silly. <laughs> <laughs> good, very good. <laughs> So, uh, listen, I think I'm gonna take off now. Hey, you can't leave, Joey. You agreed to buy that boat, all right? It is a contract. And plus, if you leave, my boss is gonna kill me. Well, what am I gonna do, Rage? I don't have that kind of money. I know, okay, 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 okay. All right, all right, this is what we're gonna do. We are gonna go to the next highest bidder, and we are just gonna let them buy it, and then you're just gonna pay the difference. Okay. okay. Uh, look, I don't know why the kids need a youth center anyway. You know, they should just watch TV after school like I did. And I turned out fine. Not great. Rich, Rich. Okay, the next highest bidder is at table one. Oh, great. Yeah. Oh, and uh, the guy who got the Paris trip is at table four. Oh, okay. Why do you care about the guy who won the Paris trip? It's a trip for two. <laughs> Excuse me. Excuse me, is the person who won the Paris trip at this table? That was me. Oh, enchanté. <laughs> uh, excuse me, is there a Mr. Beaumont at this table? That's me. Ah, yeah. Oh. Well, hello. <laughs> this is your lucky day, Mr. Beaumont. The uh, gentleman day sailor has just become available again, and I believe that you made a bid of $18,000. Yeah, you have to pay that. It's not just a guess. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I was actually relieved uh, I didn't win the boat. My wife would have killed me. Are you kidding me? She's gonna love this boat. Yeah, what, what is your wife's name? It's Pam. Pam! Oh, God, okay, okay. just imagine this. Uh, the Pam. Oh, oh, oh. I don't think she'd like that. Okay, uh, imagine this. The Mr. Beaumont. <laughs> I don't think so, dear. Okay, look, let me paint you a little picture. All right, you are setting sail up the Hudson. You got the wind in your arms. <laughs> You, you get all that peace and quiet that you've always wanted. You get back to nature. You can go fishing. 
You can, get, you can get one of those little hats and have people call you Captain. And then when you're old, Cappy. <laughs> what the hell? It's for a good cause. All right. Oh, no God. way. What? It's mine. What? <laughs> what? All that stuff you just said, I want that. But, Joey, you don't have $20,000. Who cares? I'll make payments, whatever it takes. I want them, Mr. Beaumont. I'm... Hi, I'm Sandy. Sandy, hi. Come on in. Hey. <laughs> you brought your kids. Yeah, that's okay, right? <laughs> You know, when I saw you at the store last week, it was probably the first time I ever mentally undressed an elf. <laughs> wow, that's uh, dirty. <laughs> yeah. Hey, kids. We're live in Times Square. We're in a virtual snowstorm of confetti here in Times Square. It gets bigger and better every year. Yo, kids. And then the peacock bit me. <laughs> Please kiss me at midnight. <laughs> you seen Sandy? Ooh, uh, I don't know how to tell you this, but uh, she's in Monica's bedroom getting it on with Max, that scientist geek. Oh, look at that. I didn't know how to tell you. <laughs> Everybody, the ball is dropping. What? <laughs> The ball is dripping! <laughs> In 20 seconds, it'll be midnight. And the moment of joy is upon us. <laughs> looks like that no date pack thing worked out. Everybody looks so happy. I hate that. <laughs> Not everybody's happy. Hey, Bobby. You <laughs> know, I, uh... I just thought I'd throw this out here. I'm no math whiz, but I do believe there are three girls and three guys right here. Mm -hmm. oh, I don't feel like kissing anyone tonight. Oh, I can't kiss anyone. So, so I'm kissing everyone? No, no, no. You can't kiss Ross. That's your brother. Oh, yeah, that's well, perfect, perfect. So now everybody's gonna kiss but me. All right, somebody kiss me. Somebody oh, kiss me. It's not. midnight. Somebody kiss me. Oh, somebody kiss me. It's midnight. It's one time. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Talking about who could kick whose ass in a fight, you or Ross? There's no question. So you think Ross, too? <laughs> you picked Ross? Ross is really strong. He's the strongest out of all three of you. Except for Joey. <laughs> I cannot believe you didn't pick me. Uh, in her defense, she's right. I am stronger. I would destroy you. <laughs> oh, really? You think you're stronger? Why don't you prove it? <laughs> oh, I'll prove it. I'll prove it like a theorem. Wait, 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 stop it. Stop it. Stop. Now, there's no one's gonna fight in this apartment. Hey, Monica, people came to see a fight. Let's give them what they came for. <laughs> yeah. Hey, you guys could arm wrestle. Yeah, listen to the slutty nurse. <laughs> you're going down. Oh, yeah, you're going further down, downtown. Seriously, guys, the trash talk is embarrassing. Coffee, we'll get energized, and we'll head back out. Yeah, all right, OK. <laughs> so we're having fun, right? Mm. We don't need that wizard guy. We hit a couple of clubs, talk to some strangers, and uh, after this, we'll go down to the docks and see about that boat thing. <laughs> I'm kind of beat. Actually, me too. Are you serious? Mm. Yeah. Thank God, I'm oh, exhausted. God. So you guys want coffees? Yeah, but uh, I don't want to be up too late, so I'll have a decaf. Yeah, me too. Actually, can I get some hot water with a little lemon? I, I strain my voice screaming in there. Does it have to be so loud? I can't hear a word you're saying. My ears are ringing so bad. Uh. I was glad I brought that extra pair of socks, you know? I used them as mittens. I didn't want to touch a thing in that last place. <laughs> How sad are we? Yeah, I know. You know what? We're not sad. 
I'm not sad, we're just not 21 anymore, you know? I'm 29 years old, damn it. And I want to sit in a comfortable chair and watch television and go to sleep at a reasonable hour. Yeah. Yeah, and I like to hang out in a quiet place where I could talk to my friends. Yeah. yeah. And so what if I like to go home, throw on some Kenny G and take a bath? <laughs> we're 29, we're not women. These great novelty cakes in all different shapes, and if you give them a photo, they'll copy it nicing. Oh, did you do a picture of Emma? Yes, on a cake shaped like a bunny. Uh, Rage, does this bakery by any chance also bake erotic cakes? <laughs> Say for bachelorette parties? Ross, what are you talking about? <gasps> oh my god! They put my baby's face on a penis! <laughs> Is it okay that I still think it looks delicious? Yeah. Look at this. I know what you're thinking, Judy. The resemblance is uncanny. <laughs> I am this close to tugging on my testicles again. No, no, this is not what I ordered. Okay, I went all the way to New Jersey so that I could have the perfect cake for my daughter's birthday, and I need a bunny cake right now. Ask them if it would be faster if we cut the baby's face off the penis so we could put it on the bunny. <laughs> that is a weird sentence. Oh, believe you me, I am going to bring this cake back. I don't even want it in my home. Jelly, don't touch it! I'm so confused! <laughs> I still want my daughter's picture, but on a bunny cake. Yellow cake, chocolate frosting with nuts. To be fair, this one does have nuts. <laughs> what did you just say? You roll another hard eight, and we get married here tonight. Are you serious? Yes, I love you. I've never loved anybody as much as I love you. I've never loved anybody as much as I love you. OK, so if an eight comes up, we take it as a sign, and we do it. What do you say? Okay. Okay. Let's go. Okay. That's a four. And where, where, where's the other one? It went under the table. Nobody move. Okay, you look that way. I look this way. Here it is. Here it is. That could be a four or a five. It's your call. It's a four. I think so, too. Do you have any clothes on? Yes. Really? No. Uh. <laughs> but we we didn't have sex, uh, did we? <laughs> I mean, I don't remember much about last night. It was <laughs> such a blur. <laughs> oh. oh, I remember laughing. Uh? I laughed a lot. Then we didn't have sex. Mm. <laughs> Oh. oh, I mean, we were really drunk. <coughs> I was glad we didn't do anything stupid. Tell me about it. Oh, oh God, look at him. He's so cute. just want to go over there, grab him, and kiss him. How could I kiss him without letting him know that I like him? Oh, hey, I know how you can get him. Take off your bra. <laughs> what? There was a scene in Footloose. Flashdance. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, with that, that uh, plumber girl. She was a welder. Were you, like, in the movie, or...? <laughs> anyway, she takes off her bra under the shirt and pulls it out the sleeve. Very sexy and classy. 
Or, if you want to kiss him, um, you could use mistletoe. Oh, it's not Christmas. Or spin the bottle. And he's not 11. <laughs> Thank you so much for this. It was really so thoughtful of what? you. What? You're leaving? Yes, we have something we have to get to. Uh, oh, no. Yeah, I think I'm going to take off, too, actually. No, you guys, you can't leave yet. You have to stay. We, we've got the whole big thing planned. What big thing? So, spin the bottle works like this. <laughs> I spin the bottle, lands on Gunther, so I would have to kiss Gunther. I'll go. Okay. 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 <laughs> Welcome to America. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> Two in a row. You got to use your tongues now. You know, let, <laughs> let's let someone else play. <laughs> if you didn't want to play, then why'd you come to the party? Okay, my turn. Oh, look at that! Oh my god! Oh, oh my god! The baby just kicked. Oh, 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 it's okay. It's okay. Kick once, it'll kick again. Oh my god! <laughs> Paper. Here you go. Oh. And write down your most embarrassing memory. Oh, and I do ask that when you're not using the markers, you put the caps back on them because they will dry out. <laughs> Listen, you guys, um, I don't mean to be a pain about this, but um, I've noticed that some of you are just placing them on. You want to push the caps <laughs> until you hear them click. <laughs> Gunther, where are you going? I um, was sort of thinking about maybe... No! No, you can't go! No, this is fun! Come on, we're just getting started here. Here's your marker. <laughs> so if you want to go, just go. No, she'll yell at me again. <laughs> <clears throat> All right, <clears throat> I can get you out. What? <laughs> Shh. In a minute, I'm going to create a diversion. And I do, walk quickly to the door and don't look back. <laughs> okay, and the first person's most embarrassing memory is... Monica, your party sucks. <laughs> okay, very funny. Oh, no. Oh, did someone forget to use a coaster? What? <laughs> I don't see anything. Great, I'm seeing water rings again. Okay, she's okay, taking the trash out. So I can get you out of here, but it has to be now. She'll be back any minute. What about my friend Victor? No, only the three of you. Any more than that, and she'll get suspicious. All right, let me just get my coat. There isn't time. <laughs> just leave everything. They'll take care of you next door. <laughs> is it true they had beer? Everything you've heard is true. Could you guys please try to keep it down? We're trying to start a boggle tournament. <laughs> you! And you! You're supposed to be at my party! And Gunther! <laughs> what are you doing here? Uh Sorry, but these people needed me. You know, they work hard all week. It's Saturday night. They deserve to have a little fun. Go! <laughs> you know, my party is fun. I mean, maybe it's a little quieter, less obvious sort of fun, but, you know, if people would just give it a chance, it's so... <laughs> okay. This way is on, so this is... 
off. Did you just break the radiator? No. No, I was turning the knob, and, and here it is. Well, put it back. It, uh, it won't go back. Oh, call the super. Here, let me try. Oh, oh, that's right. I forgot about your ability to fuse metal. Hey, it's Funny's cousin. Not funny. Hi, Mr. Trigger. Hi, it's Rachel Green from upstairs. Yes, somebody uh, broke our knob on the radiator, and it's really hot in here. Yes, it's, it's hot enough to bake cookies. <laughs> well, do you think we could have a new one by six? What? No, no, Tuesday. We can't wait until Tuesday. We're having a party tonight. Okay, tip the man. No, if he doesn't like our cookies, too bad. I'm not going to be blackmailed. Uh -huh. Look, if worse comes to worse, it gets a little warm, we'll call it a theme party. Hey, here's the theme. Come on in. Live like bacon. Hi. Welcome to our tropical Christmas party. <laughs> you put your coats and sweaters and pants and shirts in the bedroom. It's hard to tell because I'm sweating, but I use exactly what the gel bottle says. <laughs> An amount about the size of a pea. <laughs> How can that be too much? <laughs> Ice? Ice? Ice squares, anyone? Take a napkin. All right. Monica, Monica. Monica, your guests are turning into jerky, OK? Really? I'm perfectly comfortable. <laughs> hey, 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 get in line, buddy. I was next. <laughs> we can't go now. It looks like Rachel's going to put on a skit. <laughs> oh, my god. Have you lost your mind? No, 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 no. I am finally thinking clearly. My lucky dress wasn't working out too well for me, but for four years, this baby never missed. Oh, Rachel, 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 I, I cannot, I can't let... Actually, I kind of want to see what happens. Hey. 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 Nice, uh, costume. Oh, yeah. Well, I wanted to give Emily a big American goodbye cheer. <laughs> so, okay. Woo! Ready. Okay. Give it E. E. Give it M. M. Give it I. I. Give it L. L. Give it Y. Y. What do you get? Oh, Emily. Woo, Emily. <laughs> Time to take off the bra. Mm. <laughs> uh, that was really uh, great. But I, I, I gotta take off, actually. Take bra off. <laughs> All right, come on, let's go get your coat. Okay. Rachel is my girlfriend. <laughs> hey. Hey. <laughs> What are you supposed to be? Remember the Russian satellite Sputnik? <laughs> well, I'm a potato or a spud, and these are my antenna. So Sputnik becomes... <laughs> Sputnik. Sputnik. <laughs> Wow, I don't have the worst costume anymore. <laughs> hey, all right, Ross came as duty. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm not duty. No, space duty. <laughs> hey, glad you could make it. Thanks for coming. Oh, my God, Kyle Louder. Hi. I love you. Hey, that's why I didn't invite you. You have to calm down. All right, just go, go get yourself a drink or something. Oh, yeah, that's what you want. My inhibition's lowered. <laughs> hey, Joey said no autographs. Hey, but, but if she's getting one, I want one, too. To Monica. And none of this best wishes crap. I want love. 
Okay, actually, uh, Mon, Matthew was, was giving me his phone number. Oh, man. If I had known I was coming to this party, I never would have gotten married. It's nice to meet you, Rachel. Nice to meet you. Call me. Okay. We will. Look at you with all the guys. Yeah. I guess you've forgotten all about Joey. Yeah, well, I guess I guess I have forgotten about Joey, and clearly you've forgotten about Chandler. <laughs> Please. Chandler's the love of my life. Ooh, leather pants. Have mercy. <laughs> This is never gonna work. He's right there. So just go over and say hi. No, I have to go downstairs, come back up as if I'm coming home from the regatta gala. Okay? So just go distract him. But don't be sexy. <laughs> hey, Danny. Hey. Hey. Come on. That's a great party. Great food. Yeah. <laughs> <sighs> You know, most parties, it's, uh, it's all chips and salsa, chips and salsa. Uh -huh. <laughs> so, uh, what's this? Salad. Oh. <laughs> and and, and what, what's this? Bread. <laughs> Aren't you a chef? <laughs> hey, Rachel. Hey! All right, tonight was your party. Oh, you look great. I'm, I'm glad you could make it. Oh, yeah, well, you know, the gala had to end sometime. Don't go anywhere. Be right back. Yeah, All right. sure. All right. Whose court's the ball in now? I, I thought there wasn't a ball. <laughs> Come on. He's glad that I came. He doesn't want me to go anywhere. Ball's flying all over the place. <laughs> Rachel, this is my friend Tom. This is the girl I told you about. Oh, come on. You're telling people about me. I think you two could really hit it off. I'm gonna go mingle. So you work at Bloomingdale's, huh? My mom calls it Bloomies. 